Thank you very much. It is very good to be here. I recognize a few, few familiar faces. Um, I very much appreciate what you public servants do for the people of Washington State. Truly local government officials, elected officials or staff are all literally on the front line of delivering services and helping and serving the people of Washington State, including the least of our brothers and sisters. So thank you. There's a saying, you all heard it. I'm from the government, I'm here to help. I can also say I'm from the state auditor's office and I'm here to help. And, but sometimes in some quarters, that's a statement of derision, of incompetence, of harm. I tell you, my goal is to make that statement, a statement you could be proud of saying, I'm from the government and I'm here to help you serve the citizens better. I'm here to make all elected officials in Washington State the best in the nation, the most efficient, effective, ethical governments in this United States. I am here to help you restore trust in government so all citizens buy into the notion that the, their elected officials are the true, and staff, and staff are the true heroes here in Washington State. We are all here to help and serve. Who is Mark Malosha? You heard my background. I got involved in audits when the Air, I was involved with those audit teams in the Air Force, the procurement scandals of the late 80s, the $600 hammer, $700 caulk, uh, toilet seat. And I quickly learned, and the Air Force and Boeing learned at the same time, that audits, especially inspection at the sin, isn't how you get results. It's about building quality into the processes, having true enlightened leadership focusing on continuous improvement, on true service, measurably getting increased value for their customers, whoever they may be. I've been a member of the American Society of Quality for 25 years. I'm now a national examiner for the Baldrige uh, program. I've audited hospitals, colleges, nonprofits, government agencies, large businesses and small businesses. I know how to make each of you heroes to your citizens. I intend to use the power of the auditor's office to make our governments trusted, efficient, effective and ethical, but I need your help. We, heard, we all serve the same people, the same citizens. I intend to use the power of the state auditor's office to have audits that each year you find more valuable to the point where you're calling the state auditor's office asking us to come in and do another audit to help improve your systems, help improve dealing with the state government or dealing with some other issue that you have of concern help give you that roadmap to again restore that trust in government. I was in your position was, once. I was a locally elected for Lake Haven Utility District, Water and Sewer District there in Federal Way. So I understand what it is to be on the front lines. Today, as you know, I, serve in the I served in the House and now in the Senate. Uh, I focus on human services, social justice, trying to address the homeless problems trying to address issues of mental health, the G Growth Management Act. I have been the accountability chair in both the House and Senate. My passion, my lifelong passion, is to make government officials the best stewards of the citizens' money. That's why we're all here, and save lives, increase prosperity. That's why we're all here today, and I intend to be your advocate, your partner, to get those results. Well, I've been given here some questions they wanted me to talk about, and I'll, I'll hit, hit them right now, and then I'll be happy to take any questions you may have. Uh, experience, professionalism. Uh, let's see, we have expressed concerns about the experience and professionalism of local governments, auditor staff. We work with the office to address these concerns and improve our relationships. How do you plan to continue to partner with cities to enhance the customer 
relation experience. I was in, uh, involved with an effort here. Uh, I came in front of my committee, HB 2148, to, to change the way the state order deal with local governments. I was extremely upset with the state auditor's office for failing having an adequate customer and complaint management system. In this instance, the auditor's office works for you. Those audits we provide have to be cheaper, faster, and better every single year. I mean measurably. I intend to do that. You would, I intend to set up a system where you will be grading the performance of the auditor's audits. Are they providing value to you? You will have a say in making sure providing adequate, transparent feedback. Everybody will know those concerns, and the auditor's office will be committed to solving them. In this instance, I am here to serve you. Senator? Many se I just want to interrupt Ooh. really quickly because we took number two off. It's, um, I just want to say okay. that was a slight edit we just made. Okay. Would you like me to proceed with the questions? Perhaps I can just ask them of you then and make it easier? Okay, sure. Does Go that, ahead. Does that work? Okay. So um, our next question that was posed to you was that Washington voters have given the state auditor's office the authority and the funding to conduct independent performance audits to ensure local government programs are effective and efficient in their function. Particularly in consideration of cities, what are your thoughts on how performance audit funds could best be used to better support local government functions, and would you be open to collaborating with local governments on future topics as well? Uh, yes. Again, I'm trying to build a partnership between and improve the relationship between state, local, and governments. All that talk about an alignment and integration and partnership and serving together, you can actually measure all these. I intend to be your advocate for all those issues and best practices when you have trouble with state government executive branch agencies. You know, when they are measurably harming, getting in your way. I can think of, again, the Growth Management Act or the way we uh, deal with a lot of services, for example, with housing and homelessness. All those uh, different laws and procedures that are measurably hampering you, making you less effective and efficient. I will intend to help you get better results from state government. And again, on the other hand, we have to work together. I intend to make all of you the best local governments here in the nation and have making sure that it works from your end also. All right. Our next question, a strong partnership. You mentioned already the partnerships and your intention to become a strong partner with the cities. But a strong partnership between the state auditor's office and local municipalities is vital to pro proactively basically ensure the highest possible program performance and reduce reactive or punitive measures. So what are your thoughts on providing cities more training and technical assistance? I'm 100% behind me. In fact, this was something I campaigned on four years ago for the state auditor's office, and I'm glad to see Troy Kelly started doing something for that. The heart of improvement is making sure we integrate both training and systems, processes, to the local governments. Make sure best practices get spread all across every single local government out there. I intend to be your advocate pushing for not just integration with IT or training systems, or education uh, dollars, but actually you'll be advocating and sponsoring those bills at State Auditor's Office to make sure those systems work seamlessly with you. Uh, I know when resources, especially improving your systems, are delivered from state government, it helps you do a better job. So I know it is struggling when you have the lack of resources from state government. I tend to measurably drive those resources and advocate for those resources at the state auditor's office, that we need to fund those things, especially for the smaller local governments. All right, thank you. The State Auditor's Office recently completed a public record study providing the first comprehensive review of the daunting amount of uh, resources that local government agencies are required to dedicate for Public Records Act compliance. As State Auditor, would you see the office work continue to work on Public Records Act issues? And if so, do you envision this work to include working with cities to address concerns pertaining to both compliance and the tracking of its impacts? Uh, Yes, 
I have been very involved with the Public Records Act as a legislator. In fact, I have the report right here. I've been trying to change this. As you know, the data shows that we're spending $60 million uh, from about 60% of local governments who replied in the survey, and another $10 million in litigation fee. My goal is in five years, by making sure we have the right metrics and systems for dealing with public records, to cut that number in half. So together, I'm going to be working with all of you. How do we measurably cut that number in half? Make it easier, better for you to uh, provide better results. By that, I need to be talking to you. Who has the best practices? What changes do you need at state level to make sure we drive that number, that $60 million number down to $30 million in five years? So that's my commitment to you. Uh, we will identify best practices among you and in other states, and we'll get the laws needed. But we will, I mean, the heart and soul of the Public Records Act was that law that passed by the people. The people of this state do not yield their sovereignty to the agencies that serve them. That's you and me together. We have to provide documents. So how can we work together to make this sort of open portal to information to our bosses, the citizens? All right, thank you. I have a couple of questions um, from the audience. And so to start off with, cities find that audits go more smoothly with experienced auditors. So retention is, of course, a concern. What are your plans to address retention among audit staff? Well, the number, I think, is somewhere about 17% right now. My goal for the auditor's office is in, again, in five years, we're going to have, we're going to be the recognized best audit office, public or private sector in the nation. That means I'm going to have to have the best staff with low turnover. And who's going to determine the success, whether I have the best auditors? You are. You'll be grading me. You'll be grading my auditors. I know how to lead a team of auditors. I know how to lead a team of professionals. I'm going to provide the vision. I'm going to empower my staff, give them the training. But we're going to have the best auditors in the nation to the point where, again, you'll be inviting my agency back to come in and help you. OK. So retention was the concern. And I'm sorry, I, I didn't get anything on the retention. So well, retention, like retention is that? simply about trying to keep employees at your agency. Leadership and vision is what keeps people, makes people dedicated to public services. With that vision and with that goal, I'm going to have auditors flocking to be part of the best uh, auditor's office in the nation. All right. Thank you for that. Okay. Next question. I'll be stealing your staff. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> because they are awesome. Please stay. <laughs> um, sometimes cities disagree with outcomes in the audit process. How will you ensure that their concerns are considered? Well, again, I, I talked about um, what I did last session and what happens in any process. You have to have results that stand up that the customer is satisfied. It's all about process improvement. I've spent my life with customer service and process improvement. I know how to measurably accomplish that. So, uh, so I believe that you will be you will be grading me. You will be extremely uh, proud of the service you get and happy with the service you get. So I I, I don't expect uh, there to be any sort of efforts by different local governments or agencies to try to, for example, go to the private sector. We're going to be better than those guys. All right, thank you. And another question: How do you see local governments utilize state funds to act? to address the issues surrounding homelessness, which happens to be the topic of the day um, these days, so particularly on homelessness. I was the author of 2163, the original 10-year plan in homelessness. I've been involved in that issue intimately. In fact, I'm having a press conference in an hour to undreal, uh, unveil part of my agenda. My principles were the same as what I did in that bill. I see the state is helping with resources, providing the oversight and the accountability that, that at the top level, but giving you the tools that let the locals figure out how to do it. You know, between this process or this homeless program, that program, that's your role to pick and choose. I don't want to pick a one-size-fits-all solution. But 
the state is to ensure that the right accountability measures are in place. Are you efficient? Are you effective? Are you effective? Are you getting results? I don't want it where somebody wakes up and says, like Mayor Murray says, is I don't know which programs are working or not. That is the failure at all levels. Together, my goal is, again, is to make our governments the best managed uh, local governments in the nation. You'll be managing those homeless problems, and you will be getting results. So I am committed as the state auditor, it's one of my passion issues, that we will get results in homelessness, reduce homelessness by 50% in five years. That is my personal goal right now. And I will use the audit to help you get the results you need at, from the, both the state, the executive branch, from the legislative branch, but what you need to solve those problems. All right, that was our last question. And so would you like to take a few minutes to make your closing remarks and add anything that you would like to share with this group here? We do live in the best of times, the worst of times. Actually, some days, you know, I almost cry when I see what's going on with Western State Hospital, with homelessness, the way we are not helping the least of our brothers and sisters. Some of it is our own fault as elected officials. Some of it is. Well, it doesn't matter whose fault it is from this day forward. Together, I intend to work with all of you. My passion, my skills, my expertise. We will become the best and brightest in this United States. Your local governments will be heroes to the citizens it serves. I intend to work together with you to make sure we implement those processes, plans, metrics, change the laws if needed, get those funds, and solve the problems that our citizens are demanding and, and we need. Well, that's who I am. I hope to work with all of you and together address the great problems of our time. Thank you all and God bless. Thank you.